7,650 pounds. This is a big rear kitchen with front master bedroom slide out caliber here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. One owner originally sold here at Halet RV. Um, at the time this was built, uh, it was 2011. The, uh, you know, the economy wasn't doing fantastically and most successful camper brands were uh, very much on the entry level side of things because everyone was trying to, to pinch pennies and get through and I I'm not criticizing, I don't blame anybody, I certainly was no different than anyone else. And then this comes around and they bucked the trend and they made a very flashy, fancy, loaded up camper for its time to the point that it's still very current even today and uh, really kind of started changing the market. Um, a lot of the features of this were later absorbed into different brands at Heartland RV, but this is really where it started. This was part kept, so it hasn't been towed around, bounced around a lot. Structure's great. It is clean as a whistle. Skin is gleaming. Interior smells fantastically. She is sharp. There's really not a whole lot of any sort of defects or problems or anything that I can find anywhere. So you may have noticed in that big front pass-through compartment, the uh, power stabilizer buttons were actually located in there as opposed to outside where just anybody passing around or walking through the campsite can get to them. You may also notice you have both a full front pass-through storage and an additional storage bank under the master bed slide that we're looking at right here. You'll also find things like the, uh, the nicer bus style slam latches. These guys were ahead of their time on that. Uh, the uh, sealed hinges, it's not that they were the first ones to do, it's just that that's a, a nice uh, feature to have on here for quality and longevity. Uh, enclosed underbelly, forced air heated, this has a wide stance stability axle, so even though this was not towed, it actually would tow very nicely. The, the wider axles, basically the best way I can describe it, is they help you cheat the wheelbase, so a long trailer like this does not push around a shorter wheelbase vehicle you know even if you've got a, a short wheelbase like you're like oh i got a i got a half ton truck i'm fine sure uh, i know that you can tow the weight of it all the time but sometimes a long trailer can still get kind of push and shovey around uh you know uh, a half ton truck so, uh, short wheelbase short bed th things like that the wide stance axles will help that now this is not a replacement for an anti-sway and load leveling hitch it's a supplement for uh outside full outside shower on the rear wall and you see the uh, little telescoping bike rack bumper that slides open when you need it. It slides shut when you don't. It's got about a 200 pound load capacity on it. There's a little bar you can flip up if you want to strap a few bikes to it. And I mean, again, the cleanliness and condition of this thing, it is, it's been beautifully kept. It has been beautifully kept. Um, power awning, larger entry handle, those are things you can see, but hey, mention them real quick. Of course, the roof is a full walk-on. No concerns there. Aluminum wheels. It's got, uh, I mean, just great, great eye appeal to it. But again, like the big front, uh, pass through storage compartment, those big uh, areas, it's got a strutted entry door, black tank flush. Now, some people are going to say, why is the black tank flush hookup right here on the camp side of the camper? And the answer is because that's the most direct clean route to the black holding tank. That's what's going to give you the best black tank flush service. And the uh, the inside is just as ritzy as the outside. There's a lot of good glitter and gleam here, but there's a lot of awesome function. It's not just all eye candy. There's a lot of good functional items in here too. So uh, most of the time in today's market, it seems like everybody wants that dual opposing slide out. With all the big windows and the super slide in this RV, tell me that's not big enough. I mean, tell me this huge expanse of living space is not big enough for you. And the greatest part is now you're cutting out the whole weight and se and cost of a second slide out because slide outs are not inexpensive by any stretch. Now that's an air bed style hide bed, which everybody and their brother used in 2011. My best recommendation, I, was, I would plan on needing to replace the air mattress in that. Experience tells me that there's a reason the manufacturer stopped using them. The benefit of this though, if you see that handy little uh, pull handle right there, is this has an additional storage drawer below the sofa. So there are some great benefits to it right there. I mentioned the big windows. You've got your night shades for privacy. They're obviously tinted from the outside. Your slide side windows open for airflow. And this interesting two-tone uh, kitchen living decor. It comes and it goes through the market. Winnebago is actually somewhat adopting it right now in the Mini Plus segment. Um, you know, in your uh, toy haulers, like the Keystone Fusions that we have here at Halo RV, they kind of do something like this. It was a love or hate it thing. You're either going to really like this or you're really not. And there's just no in between. I can't tell you anything else. But 
what I do want to draw your attention to here, these are all hardwood doors and they have such a good look because you've got all hidden hinges throughout. So everything has a very clean appearance. This is a good indicator I've learned to look for when you see all the original owner's manuals and stuff still present and accounted for. That's a good indicator of somebody who maintained and kept track of and took care of their RV. Now one of the things I like about rear kitchens is the counter space because you get more prep and counter space versus a rear living room and this little elevated like peninsula here is sharp. Now normally it'd be hard to get to all that storage but they have a way around that. This was something that Heartland actually still even does today in various models uh, is that nice little uh, telescoping extension uh, for all of your kitchen storage right here. And again you can see that your cabinets aren't all banged up, dug up, everything. So you've got crazy storage in your lower kitchen area all the way around. They even have a side access door to that peninsula there. Uh, you know, your, your triplicate drawers over here, so you get your fork, spoons, knives handled, and solid surface counters with a flush mount recessed stainless sink is something that is very nice in here. You just didn't see a lot of when this was built. Now I said the rear kitchen, uh, the countertop and prep space is one of the things I like about a rear kitchen. These two chairs and that big window is my other favorite aspect of a rear kitchen because you have the same two chairs and same big window of a rear living room but with a rear kitchen your windows on the campsite even though I'm parked next to a big fusion toy hauler here in a rear kitchen, you can look out, you can look around, you can look at your campsite. If somebody knocks on your door, you can peek through this nicely tinted window and see who's at your door. It gives you a better look of your campsite instead of someone else's campsite. And again, big living area and very social seating. Notice how your sofa and your chairs face one another. So I've always said that a rear kitchen is one of the best entertainers floor plans. If you like to have guests over, you should have a rear kitchen. You got room to set up the snacks, do some prep work, all that. Now this was built when TVs were still a pretty optional luxury in RVs, but I like to point out that the previous owners obviously weren't scavengers and all the original components and everything are still here and present. So you could probably throw, uh, I don't know, a 26, 32 inch screen up there. Um, yeah, it'd be plenty enough. You know, at the time this was built again, not everyone had TVs. Now, uh, you've got a sliding pocket privacy door here because this has a classic fifth wheel, like a uh, split bed bath master suite. But what it gives us is a big open space. It also keeps the RV significantly shorter, lighter, less money while giving you room to actually stand up, stretch, and put on clothes. You can actually stand here and put on clothes. Now, a lot of people are saying, yeah, but normally there's dresser space right there. Well, you know what? You got plenty of dresser space right over here. Now, uh, if you choose to add a TV to the bedroom, that's actually a telescoping little table top sort of thing. Telescoping table top. So you can put a TV in here, uh, pull it out to watch it. Then when you're not using it, you can just, you know, close this up and you're good to go. Big, full front wardrobe closet. I mean, look at how deep this is. Now, this is above the front pass-through storage. What's interesting is you actually have access to some of that pass-through storage right there, depending, like for laundry hamper. Oh, that'd be a perfect little laundry basket space. But look how big this is. That's a big old shelf that you can utilize every day of the week. As we flip around here, you got your easy walk-around queen with, again, still slide side airflow windows. Um, the, uh, you know, pretty standard corner bathroom with a pretty standard private uh, uh, toilet facility here. Uh, I do like that extra shelf there though. You know, the that little extra pocket for extra toilet paper and things, that will be handy. Um, I think we pretty much nailed it. I, I Again, I don't really see anything in here that scares me. This is one owner, clean, well-kept, park kept. She's sharp. Give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hey, let RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.